A couple purchases a home with a $180,000 mortgage at 4% for 30 years with monthly payments. What will the remaining balance on their mortgage be after five years? Let's learn. To solve this problem, we first need to figure out what that monthly payment is on their mortgage. Then we have to do some math there to figure out at the 25 year mark, five years later after the 30 year loan, what the remaining balance is gonna be. This is a remaining balance mortgage problem or loan problem. So let's go take what we know from our scenario and apply our loans formula here to solve for the missing value. Our P sub O, the initial amount, is gonna be $180,000. That's the mortgage. Our D, our monthly payment, we do not know. So our D value is what we're trying to find. Our R, there's our annual interest rate, and they say it's 4%, so as a decimal, 0.04. Then our K is the number of compounding periods in a year. It's monthly, right? We have monthly payments here, so that's me 12 months in a year. And then the length of the loan right now is going to be 30 years. And this is going to help us find our monthly payment. So we're going to use our loans formula and plug in what we know. 180,000 is equal to our D, which we're trying to find, the monthly payment, 1 minus, in parentheses, 1 plus an R, 0 0.04, over a K value, which is 12, to the power of negative N, which is 30, times K, again, which is 12. Close the parentheses. All over here, an R over K, and so our R value again is 0 0.04 over the K value, which is 12. And then from there, I'm gonna use my calculator to break this down, simplify it where I can. So we have 180,000 equals a D value. I'm gonna kind of do all this at once, but I'll say it out verbally. 0 0.04 divided by 12 is a 0 0.003 repeating. We add one to that, and then we raise it to the power of, or adding one was 1.003 repeating, raising to the power of negative 30 times 12, and make sure that exponent is in parentheses in your calculator there. That's gonna help you. If not, you'll do the wrong calculation. You should get a 0 0.301795, and we do one minus that number, and we get a 0 0.6982. 2041348. And that's going to be all over this 0 0.04 divided by 12, which is 0 0.003 repeating. Now, divide that out 0 0.69, 820 divided by 0 0.003 repeating. A lot of threes there. We have 180000 equals D times that number, 209.4612405. Divide both sides by that number here. Just writing that out. And 180000, 180,000 divided by that number gives me a D value of $859 and lets me round it to 35 cents. Okay. And so now we have our monthly payment. I'm going to go into here and write that down. So we have a monthly payment now of $859 and 35 cents. And now we're gonna apply the second part of our formula. So I'm going to erase this here and then we're going to solve the rest of it. All right, so now we're at the second half of the problem. We want to find the remaining balance on our mortgage after five years. And so what this changes here is our P sub zero value, which we don't know yet now. We want to see how much is on the balance left, okay, five years into the loan. And that's gonna be at time, not 30 years anymore, but five years later, so we have now a 25 years left on the mortgage. 
So essentially, we're kind of solving it like it's a problem right now that we have a loan for 25 years and we have to figure out what the mortgage amount is at that time, okay? So we know the monthly payment, the interest rate, the compounding periods, and how many years is left on the loan, okay? So now we go back into our formula and plug in those values to solve P sub O. So P sub O is equal to a D value, 859.35 times a 1 minus parentheses of 1 plus an R, 0 0.04 over K, which is 12. If I can write it 12, I almost wrote a K there. That wouldn't be correct. And then to the negative N, which is 25 now, times a K value, which is 12. Make sure all that's parentheses. All over a good old R over K, which is 0 0.04 over 12. And now I'm gonna use my calculator to help me simplify this, okay? P sub zero, and don't type it in all at once, okay? I'm gonna write 859.35. Let's do this part here. 0 0.04 divided by 12, I'll say it verbally, as again 0 0.033 repeating. We add one to that value and we got 1.00333 repeating. Now to the power, put in parentheses here, the exponent negative 25 times 12, and that gives us a 0.36849. We do one minus that value and we get a 0 0.63150827666 divided by here, 0 0.04 divided by 12 is a 0 0.003 repeating. Now I should be able to do this on my calculator, so we do 859.35 times 0.6 or 0 0.63150827666 and divide by that number, or that number I got was 542.6866, divided by 0 .003, repeating forever, put a bunch of those down, and we get a P sub zero of 162805.99. And so this value, let's see if it actually makes sense in the context of the problem. If our initial mortgage was $180,000, after five years, we have a remaining balance of $162,805.99 rounded, okay? And that makes sense. Over time, that balance amount should decrease, all right? So our final answer here is that $162,805.99. I hope you learned something here about the loans formula and the remaining loan balance amount. And as always, thanks for watching.